Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Welcome back to part three of repotting my clump style Thuja bonsai. The weather has really changed today. It's been raining all morning. We've got high winds and I think a cold front is blowing in. I can see what the truck looks like shiny now because of the rain. Looks kind of good. I had the fellow come in and look at the eaves trough. So they're going to do that within the next couple of weeks getting an eaves trough up on the plant room here. I've just been catching as much water as I can in buckets. And I've been filling up my thousand liter tank here. So you can see I've got a bit of water in it. So I've just been using pails and dumping it in the hole in the top. And I, I've been using a screen across the top as a filter. That seems to work pretty well. The weather is Supposed to improve this afternoon. The rain will stop so I can get back to this project. I've got all my little seedlings in my bucket here ready to plant. The thuja is looking good. It's still greening up even more with this warmer weather. Just amazing. The maples seem to have survived the night quite well with all that rain. I've noticed that the buds are swelling on my bald cypress. I don't know if you can see them down there by my finger but they are. So that's exciting. It looks like it's made it through the winter. I was kind of worried about that. Here's a look at the back of my larch forest and it is greening up also. All the buds have little green tips on them now. So the needles are beginning to come through. Very exciting. I do have one casualty and that's my little spruce that I grew from a seed. Now this one had a really horrible root system on it and I tried to correct it with root pruning. And I kind of thought at that time it was going to be touch and go for this tree. And it had green needles on it last year, but it didn't really grow very much. And after the rain, it just seemed to knock all the old needles off. So it's looking pretty dead now. It's too bad. It was a nice little tree. But uh, yeah, I should have got to that root pruning earlier on it. It just had a horrible root system. Yeah, I don't know if this cold weather will you know, prevent the uh, needles from coming out on the larches, but uh, I guess we'll find out, see how cold it gets. But everything's looking good. I can probably tidy up the all the leaf litter, green it up and get the moss going again. I can see there's a lot of moss missing from the front here. Yeah, so everything's looking good. This little spruce is doing well. The elms, the buds are swelling on the elm, the American elms, that's good. The white pine, lots of buds on that. Uh, these Chinese elms, I don't think they're hardy, but I kept them in the greenhouse over winter. Uh, they might live, I don't know. I don't think this one is going to live, but maybe these other ones will. Who knows? The birch, the uh, paper bark birch here, the buds are swelling on it. Looks like it's doing really well. All the little larches that Jonathan gave me are doing really well. You can see them greening up. There's buds coming out on the trunk down here. So they're gonna make fantastic trees. Uh, not the styling I expected, but the rabbits, the rabbits will create something unique for me, I think. The small leaf linden looks good. Uh, the buds are swelling on it. Yeah, so I think it survived. It stayed out all winter. I'm going to head inside now and I'll come back out when the rain has stopped and I'll continue on with the Thuja project. I thought while we're waiting for the rain to stop, we'll head into the plant room and I'll show you some updates in here. Here we go. Whew, warm in here. I don't know if this is going to fog up. I think it is. <laughs> I'll let the camera adjust to the temperature and humidity in here, and then we'll come back for an update. All right, we are back. I don't know where to begin. Um, everything is just growing like a jungle in here. Let's start with the Frankenficus. It is up here and looking really good. Uh, <laughs> I was a little worried after I chopped it back and you know the growth was coming in very slowly and I thought uh, 
but I, I can see the promise of the tree now. I think it's, yeah, it's looking really good. I'm really happy with it. Uh, let's go to the money tree here. Growing well. Um, <laughs> you can't see much of it, but yeah, it's there. There's the trunk underneath there. Uh, my silk floss tree looks really good. I do have a few spots, blisters on this one leaf here. I don't know if that's like a, um, I don't know what it is. Like the new leaves are really good looking, but it's just that one leaf. Maybe it, I don't know. Who knows? Uh, my lemon tree here is filling out nicely. The Mars project, the aloe is doing really well and the little pup there that grew off of it, doing really well. The Rover is doing really well there. The asparagus fern just keeps growing. My ficus cutting of a cutting back there is doing well, growing really well. I have a tray of cuttings down here and yeah, a lot of them are doing really well. Amazing. My Dracaena here, remember that Dracaena I cut off? It is coming, looks like devil's horns or something. But yeah, I've got two shoots growing off of it. There's a third shoot here that may come out, I don't know. Uh, the other Dracaena down here, it has a shoot coming off of it. A little awkward looking that one, but oh well. Uh, Connor's Ficus religiosa here <laughs> is doing amazingly well. It's got new growth all over. Uh, oh, oh, almost fell over there. Yeah, doing really well. My ficus uh, root over temple is doing well. You can see it's growing in once again. Again, I was a little worried about this one, but I think all is well. It is going to develop into a nice tree once again. My ficus microcarpa, the ficus sisters fancy, is doing really well it is growing like crazy it's got a huge canopy on top of it now yeah it's uh doing rather well my uh very first ficus that i grew from a seed the canopy is growing out it probably needs pinching once again but yeah doing really well also liking the sunlight and warm temperatures the sarissa over here i gave that quite a pruning and you can see all the new green growth coming in on it. Yeah, it looks like it's doing well also. Yeah, no problems. Let's go over here. The Portulacaria afra. Might be kind of hard to see in these lights, but yeah, it's got a lot of new shoots coming off of the top, uh, vigorous shoots. Doing well. Um, yeah, I think Maybe a couple of weeks, it might need pruning again. My Chinese building penjing, my city penjing back here, is really greening up. And there's roots. I don't know if you can see them down there, but there's roots growing all over the surface of the soil in a lot of different places. So that's kind of interesting. As they thicken up, it'll be interesting to see the, uh, the surface of the soil. It'll probably be covered in roots. But yeah, it needs pruning. Uh, my Natal ficus here, it also has roots growing everywhere on the soil down here. And the tree is doing really well. It's uh, recovered and growing from the uh, last work done on it. My grapefruit is doing really well here. Really happy with it. It's growing. Uh, my Bougainvillea Look at the shoots coming off of it. They're just, it's ridiculous how fast this thing grows. So that, that's overdue for pruning. My Schaeflera back here, the clump style, banyan style, it's doing really well. It's uh, no problems with it. Uh, my tiger bark ficus way back here is looking good. A lot of new growth on it. The canopy's filling out nicely. The Sarissa down there is not doing so well. My Snow Queen or Ice Queen or whatever it is, Snow Queen Hibiscus is doing really well. The Peperomias that Ross gave me back there aren't doing well and I don't know why. 
I've tried adjusting my watering to less water. Didn't seem to help. More water didn't seem to help. I don't know what's going on with them. Uh, my crown of thorns here is looking awesome. It's filling out and greening up really nicely. My large leaf Schifflera here is doing really well. It's coming out. All the new shoots are growing on it now. My yellow hibiscus here is got all kinds of flower buds forming on it. I give that a really severe pruning and it's, yeah, it's recovered quite nicely. Uh, my Brazilian rain tree is growing really well. That needs repotting and rep uh, repotting and pruning. My jades, my uh, jade forest down here, it's recovered. It's coming in quite nicely. Uh, my lemon tree, my cascade here, uh, I'm getting some growth out on the cascading branch now. Uh, this shoot, I can see it needs pinching. I'm going to do that right now because I don't want to develop too much vigor in this area. Um, pinch the top off like that. My Norfolk Island pines, a lot of new growth coming in on them. They're looking good. That forest, my Crassula or Jade forest, it came back really nicely after defoliation and some hard pruning. Uh, my pencil cuttings down there are coming in really nicely. The little pencil cuttings, really happy about that. They're greening up. The aloe's doing well. Uh, my other hibiscus, my uh, red one, has a flower bud here that is going to come out probably either later today or tomorrow. Uh, my, whoa, I don't know what happened to that leaf. It's all twisty. That's not good. Uh, my saber leaf ficus doing really well. That's the back of it. Uh, my rubber tree forest is doing well. A lot of new growth on it. You can see all the new leaves. My clump style rubber tree beside it is doing really well. I know you can, can't hardly see anything here because it's so crowded. My lemon tree over here, doing fantastic. I've got new growth on it here and over here. And here is a look at the lemon. It is getting quite large. Oh, I wouldn't say large, but it's getting larger. Really happy about that. I'm probably skipping over a few trees here, but my Nintel ficus down here with all these aerial roots on it. It's doing really well. There's the clump style rubber tree, the base of the lemon tree back there. My willow leaf ficus in here, not growing really strongly, but it's doing okay. I think it might have a little bit of scale on it. I've got to get to that. Uh, the ficus religiosus, there's three of them there, small, medium, and large. They are doing well, pushing out new growth, looking good. My ficus lyrata, fiddle leaf fig, all kinds of new growth coming out on it. Look at the size of that leaf. Uh, I like this for the large leaves. I'm, uh, yeah, I, I don't really care if they reduce too much because I, I want to grow this into a, a large leafy bonsai, if that makes any sense. Uh, my ficus benjamina in there that I cut back severely. The tropical style one, it's doing really well. My monkey ear trees, all kinds of new growth coming on them now. My Christmas cactus back there is growing really well. Uh, my bullhorn acacia down there, doing really well. My ficus sisters plain is doing quite well. My baobabs, they're down there. They are breaking dormancy. I've got green buds forming, or you can see a bit of green on the buds at the tip. So I think in the next week or so, I think you'll see them leafing out once again. Guava tree here is doing really well. Uh, my Schifflera, dwarf Schifflera here is doing really well. The one in the 3D printed pot. My ficus microcarpa is doing well. The uh, Dracaena here, looking really healthy up top, just growing it. 
My two little leaf ficus down here is doing really well. My uh, Buddhist pine or podocarpus is doing well. There's a cutting of my Christmas cactus down there that's doing re really well. The campfire jade, there's a planting down here, uh, right over there, that's growing leaves on it now. All the jade cuttings that I put in uh, Stefan's 3D printed pots, there's one down there, are doing really well. They're leafing out really happy. Uh, the bougainvilleas are doing well. Have we got everything covered? Oh, here, my acacias. Here's the acacia forest. Now, this was kind of mixed. I had, some of them are doing really, really well. Others, like this one, haven't leafed out and probably won't. They're probably dead. And there's a few of them like that. There's a few like this one here, never leafed out. It just died. Um, yeah, so some of them are growing really strongly, like this one. The shoot is just getting huge. But others never did leaf out. So some leafed out from the base, like that one. The top of it died, but it's growing from the base. So that's all right. I'll just prune it back. My uh, plumeria, it died. Uh, it didn't grow at all last couple of years but it didn't die and then I thought well I'll give it a cool period in the basement it didn't like that at all it just uh, the trunk went all mushy and it died so don't put your plumeria in the cool weather uh, the pencil cactus down here the one I really dislike but it's growing well and I think that's it. I think I've covered pretty well everything. There's my ficus, um, what do they call them? The, uh, like the edible fig. I forget what they call them. Some turkey, turkey ficus, uh, turkey fig. Uh, anyway, ficus carica. It, uh, I had it in the basement. I just brought it up the last, maybe week ago and it's leafed out, it's doing really well. It was starting to leaf out in the basement, so I thought, oh, I better warm it up and get it growing again. Yeah, so that's about it for updates in the plant room in my jungle here. Um, yeah, most things are doing well. There's the odd, the odd problem area. Um, there's some of those campfire jades down there that are doing well. Yeah, the odd problem, I have a few insects I gotta get, take care of. Um, it's just so crowded in here. The rain didn't stop until later on in the day, so I didn't get a chance to repot my cedars yet. And now it's the next day, and we had our KW Bonsai Society swap meet. We did it in the parking lot. You're allowed gatherings of under 25, as long as you have a mask on. So I'll show you some scenes from that. How's it going, Connor? Good, good. Yeah, thanks uh, to Charlotte for making these, and the buttons are really awesome. Awesome. Yeah, here's a, here's a button. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, Nigel, I brought um, I brought you some uh, rum fie cuttings. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah, because you don't have those. I would love one. Um, so everyone's been asking me, do I have one? Rum fie? Oh, okay. The, uh, That's the... Uh, uh -huh. They kind of look like religiosa, but they yep. don't have as long a tail. And they're oh, more thanks, harsh. Connor. Yeah, I will sure, you know. look at that. Now I finally got one. <laughs> what, what I'll get here? you your tree, Connor. Um, yeah. That's awesome to get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put this in my car here. I'm giving him a ficus religiosa. Okay, let's have a last look at the ficus religiosa before Connor takes it away. Oh, look at this. You wanted to see the one with the uh, clear glass so you can see wow, your roots, eh? Is that ever cool? So I got to beat a couple others, so. Oh, those are awesome, Mark. Yeah. Oh, let me, uh, 
Yeah, I can just put it up there for you. All right, thanks very much. That is awesome. Thank you. That's yeah. going to be cool. I'll put that in a video. <laughs> There, yeah. you there during right? And that way. Ah, where's Connor now? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. There you are, Connor. There's your tree. Oh wow. Oh wow. It grew a lot since uh, I last pruned it. Awesome. Thanks so much, Nigel. Yeah, you're welcome. It's got the good drip tips on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can. It's pretty big. What is that? When did you? When did called, you this it's back? a ficus religiosa, oh. but they call these drip tips. The water runs off the leaf and off, so it doesn't sit on the leaves and rot them. What were you uh, looking for as a fig? Yeah, Nothing. a fig. Oh, a fiddle leaf. Yeah. I know. Um, this is a professional-looking camera. <laughs> Do a plug for your video. Oh, uh, that's okay. This we, is well, in from <laughs> from yeah, maybe bonsai. Maybe bonsai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're here in uh, where I'm here in Kitchener, Waterloo, um, meeting up with the club. So yeah, here I am. There he is. Yeah. All right. First Thanks. time, first time meeting. First time we've met. It's yeah. awesome. We've been talking lots on <laughs> Zoom and yeah. great. Oh, chats actually, and everything. Um, I've had a couple. Is this Jock's trunk? Right. Hey? Yep. Oh, look at Marco, that, Jade. You know we had a South African, also another South African in the, in the club. Oh, did I, yeah. <laughs> I should have here. mentioned that. Let me lift this one up. Look at that, Jade. Holy. That's us. Are you selling that, Jock? Hey. Are you selling it? Um, swapping it, selling it, whatever. I'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> you will? Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> I'll buy it just like that. Okay. Well, I don't know. I, what I, do you want uh, for? Twenty um, bucks? I'll make it ten. Ten? All right. Yeah. Sold. Wow, that was a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. No, then let me have a look. Let me see that. That takes pretty much the back there as well. Which one is it? Yeah. Okay. This one. Yeah. One That's uh, a Crescella Capitella. Oh, Crescella. Yeah. Awesome. It's, it's well rooted. Okay. And oh shoot, it's okay. It looks like it's drying out on this side, so you're gonna have some very interesting, I see, growth uh, sort of. So it's kind of rotted a bit on that this, side. Or this this kind of thing is what you're gonna end up. But you can see it's perfectly green over there. Okay. So. All right. That looks and great. if if it doesn't survive, let me know. I, I've got a bigger one at home. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thanks very much. <laughs> looks awesome. <laughs> I put it over here. All right, so Jay's going in the car. Look at that. See how it's healed here? There's a, something taken off and now it's healing over. It's like a skin forming. That's really cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn this into something nice. Crassula oveta. How are you? Wow. So Mark made this. This bonsai pot, it's like a stained glass pot, drainage holes in the bottom, and you'll be able to see the roots grow. So I'll plant like a ficus or something in here, and we can watch the roots grow in the bottom of the pot. So that'll be cool. So Charlotte, Charlotte made these face masks with the KW bonsai logo, and these really cool buttons with the KW bonsai logo. So. They've been selling like hotcakes. We just have one left. And people have been donating to the club here. So thanks, Charlotte. Fantastic. I've got a new one. Nacho! Baby! Joey! Yeah! Um, so um, they, they sometimes they call this the. Uh, uh, in Afrikaans, they call it the fat plant. A uh, fat, fat plant. Okay. And this is called the grass, the grass fat plant. Okay. Wow. But you will turn to another one. I don't want to take these things home. Well, I, I let me get out some more money here. I'm going to No, donate. no, these are freebies. I, are they? I'm are you sure? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. okay. I would take a few more. I'm we'll take as many as you can. I really like these uh, South African plants. Um, some of them have got two in a pot. And some of them have got one. Can I take this big one over here? Yeah. Right that's on. that's why it's on its own. It's, I'm yes. going to take the big one. Yes, yeah, another bigger. Oh, this this one fell. Okay. Yeah. And I've seen them. Uh, I've seen them in Asia where they're they've got like big 24 inch pot and it's got a trunk like this, and then it starts to look like uh, the leaves are right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, but if it's in like a an eight inch pot or something. Yeah, I no, know. I know. I'm here it's... to get some coffee here, guys. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Get <laughs> right the way. <laughs> so how are the trees you doing, Joey? What's that? Yeah. 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 So I got the stuff here for you. Okay. 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 Sure, sure. How are the trees doing, Joey? 
They're good. They're yeah. good. They're yeah. good. Yeah. They're good. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I, um... You'll have to send me some pictures of your trees. Yes, actually, there's one. There's one, um... That, uh, I think you'll like. I'll, I'll send you a bunch of pictures, because okay. you'll... You'll like it. Everyone's dying for an update on your YouTube. Uh, yes, um... <laughs> so, he got attacked. Um, he's got a nice hole in the trunk now. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, I don't know if, uh, it was a squirrel eating it. But yeah. it's happened in the summertime. Um, so it doesn't look the best. Like I've looked at it and it's like, for me personally, I just it's only in the last year since cut half of off. But but I'm gonna bring it to you and let let you figure out. Yeah. Um, because it just that happens. Yeah. I've seen guys in the Toronto club. They have these beautiful Japanese maples. A squirrel takes a big chunk out of the trunk. Yeah. And they say they say basically that tree is useless for another five six years till it heals. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to wait for the wound to heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what's new, Wayne? Not much. <laughs> Not much at all. Are you selling pots here? I am. Oh, nice. I like them. Thank you. And where are these? Are these your pots here? Your pots. Wow. Well, I'm gonna have to buy a Wayne pot. Yeah, yeah. Would like with that um, virtual one. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, I do like this one. That's a beauty. Wow. Um, that one's cool. I like the feet on it. Oh, I do like this one too. That's a beauty. We'll meet up at a nursery and get some Ten for me and ten for the Oh, that's cheap. $10? 20 bucks. Well, I'm going to buy a few. <laughs> I'm not there yet. At that price, I'm going to buy this one, that one, and... That's pretty nice too. And... How do you pick your pot? I just, if you like them. <laughs> Very subjective. Uh, thanks, Wayne. Awesome Thank pots. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Send it to me for memory. We'll swap it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. This is the hibiscus, right? Yeah. yeah those are, they're pretty good. Yeah. They attract aphids, but other than that. <laughs> okay, I'll watch for those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then I'd only pick like maybe one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I love your videos. Yeah, thank you. And this would be your background uh, determinant. Oh, I've never heard, heard of that. that. I've never heard of that. Yeah. But he's, this is a, That's obviously a, a very old car. Cool large, right? Yeah, it's really old. Where did you get it from? Quebec. Wow, that's amazing. As a bonsai? Like, yeah, it was like this. Yeah, that's amazing. But I got I got three and the other two are like, I mean, just as old if not older. That's really ancient looking. Like, mm -hmm. that bark is really old on it. And the, just the density of the canopy and that. Really cool, really natural looking. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Like this, this will dry up, don't worry about that. It was really nice seeing all the people from the KW Bonsai Society once again face to face. I never did get to repotting my cedar in this video. So that'll have to come in the next one in part four. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.